Let's go here to the Cascadia landing pad. And it is dangerous, so I can only assume we're going to come across... What are they called? Uh... Man, I can't think of their name. Oh, gosh. Broken vending machines are... No, those ones look like they're working. Who yep. wants to play an impromptu toss ball match? Oh, <laughs> no one? Yeah. yeah, just bring that up randomly, golly. I'm like... What? Oh, Raptodon over there. Or Mantisaur. I can't tell from this distance. Although, speaking of distance... Oh, don't want to do... Oh, maybe I'll test that out, but... Steno? What in the... Is that like a named... Yeah, Raptodon Stalker there. Perhaps I should, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I do this? I could, I could tell these guys to be, like, passive mode or, or whatever else. How did I do that? Oh, here's our, uh, current status effects. Okay, so that's, that's good to know. Drug addiction, withdrawal, dexterity, negative one, perception, negative one, temperament, negative one. So that, yeah, flaws, drug addiction. So that's good to know that that's where we can come if we want to see our flaws. So, thankfully, we only have one. Would have been nice if I didn't have that, but it is what it is, you know? Anyways, I, I, I was sure there was a thing. Oh, here it is right here. I could control Parvati. How ag aggressive, defensive. Let me, let me do defensive. Controls how the companion behaves in combat. Defensive means once told to attack a, car a target, the companion will continue to fight until the combat is over. Aggressive means companion always engages in attacks when the player enters combat. And passive means only attack the target when the companion has been explicitly told to. Might want to do defensive right now. I feel like... At, le at least it's better than what we, ha what we had beforehand with the aggressive, so mixed ranged. Oh, I can actually control like what weapons she uses. Me oh, she's strictly melee now, mixed. So she uses both melee and the, the ranged, whatever that is up there. I think it's a light machine gun or something like that, Mark II or something. Distance medium, far. I could, oh, look at this. I didn't even know you could customize it this. But I, could, I could do close combat with melee, or I could do medium combat with mixed. Far combat with range. Although, it, it, I think we're going to keep medium with mixed, and of course keep defensive right there. Let's go over to Vicar Max and make sure he's basically the same, so medium, mixed, and aggressive. Nope, we're going to go to defensive right now. And if we get attacked, oh, and he even shows his perks right there too, that's pretty cool. Intimidate, hack, science, those are pretty cool. I didn't even know, look, look at all this stuff I'm just now figuring out like 30 episodes in, golly. <laughs> Anyways, so I assume if I shoot these guys from a distance, you know, an, 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 an advantageous position like we have right now, I assume these guys won't, like, fall off this cliff and die to try and pursue these guys, so... I need to try and, uh... This might be tough. Okay, they're not they're not doing anything, that's good. But the, uh, creatures down here, they're taking some hits, that's great. We're gonna keep hitting these guys. Oh, oh, oh! What's happening now? Are they gonna attack? That's good, they're not attacking, that's great. <laughs> Alright, well, I am taking some damage, and of course I do have the, uh, addiction thing, too. And, uh... I don't know if it's a good idea to shoot this guy. Oh god, oh, one of them made it up here? What? Uh, kill? <laughs> I guess I have to kill this thing, it's just sitting there. It's literally just sitting there, it's like glitched. I don't even know if it's even supposed to be up here, you guys. What in the world? <laughs> so if I want them to attack something, I need to hit X. And to, oh gosh, one of them just slithered up here. Okay, okay, attack, attack. They're coming in, they're funneling in one at a time, that's good. Let's kill the small one here. That's a, that's a real threat right there. Kill that thing, rabbit sprat, rabbit John stalker. There's another one over here. Look at all these second bullets I'm using, guys. Holy heck. Well, at least I'm, I'm... Oh, gosh. There's another one right there, Raptor on Stalker. And another tiny little guy right there. Nice. Vicar's basically dead right now. I <laughs> don't want that to happen. But at least we're kind of funneling him right now. I am taking some damage. A little bit of damage over time. But, uh, yeah, using the little little choke point right here. Oh, gosh. I just picked something up and didn't see what that was. Jeweled ring and some other trash here. Shot Cannon Ultra. Level 22, 446 DPS. That's awesome. I think the one that we had earlier... Was a necklace mister's app. There's a lot of stuff on these guys. Grenade launcher? 247 damage. And uh I kinda wanna test that out, you guys. Oh my gosh. I don't I don't think I've ever had explosives before. So let's definitely test that out, you guys. Oh my gosh. I might set these guys. I might set them back to aggressive. Defensive seems I'm like I was getting attacked and they're still standing there. I assume that if I got attacked they would do something about it, but I guess not. But let, let's check let's test out the grenade. We could get rid of the science weapon for right now. Grenade launcher, level 19, I like that level. It's only, uh, like two or three levels away from getting maxed out. Yeah, th four levels away from getting maxed out. You can go all the way up to level 24, so that's awesome. Takes heavy ammo, which is great, because we've been slowly ragging that up. Hey, Mr. Vicar. Did you ever get a little bit homesick for Edgewater? For that ocean stink? Ugh. Oh, no, I thought this was a... I thought this was an elevator right here, but it's a stair, or a, you know, whatever this would be. A, a slope, staircase, whatever you want to call it. 
I thought it was an elevator, so they couldn't come up to me, but yeah, that explains how they made it up to me. Golly. Probably shouldn't be using a- oh, elite troop armor, 26 armor. Uh, level 11 though, so it's pretty low level. I'd need a lot of money to level that thing up to be on par with what we have right now, you know? Dead body over here, scientist! Oh, There's a, uh, stun baton right there, ultra, but it's not a science weapon. Similar to the, uh, the one we had just a moment ago that I just unequipped out of my hotbar. Music box, gotta take that. <laughs> Even made a little jingle there. But I think we killed most of the hostiles here. I'm not seeing anything else right- oh! I thought I saw something there, no. Customs there. Now what are we looking for here? Cascadia. Oh, 100 and, uh, oh, yep, sweetheart cake, 130 meters out of way. Where are we at right now? Oh, 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 hostiles that way. Let's see, what is this like? I can't actually look down the, uh... Oh, yeah, there's nothing. Oh, well, well, there was a loot thing over here, but I thought there was a pathway. Cigarette lighter and bit cartridges and adrenos there, not bad, not bad. I do kind of want to just skip over to find these enemies so I can test out this, uh, grenade launcher, you know? And hopefully they're not going to be too close to where I'm going to do some collateral damage and kill myself. Oh gosh! Mid to queen! Here they come. Oh gosh! Okay, okay, oh gosh! There's manta- manta- mantasaurs here! Holy heck, I'm almost dead! And I died! <laughs> Jeez! Yeah, I, I, I died there. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we didn't lose too much progress. But yeah, it tested out that grenade launcher. Seems pretty- oh! Okay, so it took us back up here, so we didn't lose, like, basically any progress right there, so that's good. But Monarch Wilderness. Okay, yeah. Seems like over there is where the actual Cascadia is, so... What in the world? They're just having a chat over there after I just died in an alternate universe, Galilee. Should definitely upgrade this thing if I do find a workbench, though. But, uh, definitely want to try and be sneaky with this. You know, to the best I can with a heckin' grenade launcher, right? But... There are a lot of mantic. I, I thought it was just that big quietly. one there. Yeah, quietly. Yeah, there's one right- Mantisaur drone. Almost got detected by that thing. But of course, if we do get detected, we're, uh... Ooh. What if I could- Nah, I don't know. I don't know if I could do anything. I, I think I'm- let's, let's just ambush them right now with the grenade launcher. <laughs> Maybe like last time, but of course, trying to be a little bit more vigilant of my health bar and all that kind of stuff, you know? So, there they are right there, Mantisaur drone! And that one, oh, I think we got one down right there. Oh, yeah, I got pinned in right there. I got trapped behind something. Oh, yeah, these guys aren't even attacking. Yeah, I need to set these guys to aggressive mode, because they're just standing around doing nothing right now before I actually uh, tell them to do something. Like you in the name of the law. Oh, my gosh. Look at that mantis from Queen. That thing is huge. Did it get stunned right there? I think it did. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. It's, it's stunned on the ground. And uh, whatever her name is, Parvati is over there. Oh, gosh, I'm almost dead. I am almost dead. Parvati's dead. Oh, gosh. Run, run, run. Run, run, let's go to this weapon. This one has pretty good DPS, and of course my companions are acting dead. <laughs> yeah, I need to set him out of a uh, defensive mode or what? Oh man, when the- oh, he got trapped, I think. Okay, well, let's try and do this. Try and DPS it down like this. We're doing a pretty good job right there. We need to take one of this. There you go. Try and take a little bit of cover. I don't know how my uh, companions are doing, but uh... Oh, I thought I reloaded right there. What? Okay, well, let's try and take it down now. There you go. Woo, we got it. We got the Manta Queen. And I almost died again. <laughs> oh god! I don't even know how to pronounce that. Hereptophobia. After too many encounters with manta pillars and mantasaurs, you're not quite yourself when any of the manta family of creatures are attacking your party. So similar to robophobia, similar to the one that we could have had for raptodons. I guess when we're near manta creatures, we're going to have negative one dips. Basically, the same thing we get whenever we don't take those drugs for too long. And of course, I'm going to say, nah, fam. And I'm going to reject that flaw, hater. Alright, let's take another one of these bad boys. Yeah, let's definitely set our uh, companions back to aggressive mode. Because when we get attacked like that, they're, they're just sitting around doing nothing. And, uh, I'm still to attack target until the combat is over. Yeah, I, I, defensive seems alright. If you're trying to be sneaky and whatnot, you know? To try not to, like, cause heck and such. But I feel like aggressive, that works out with our, our current, like, battle style, I guess you could say. Jeez. <laughs> but there you go. So now they're aggressive mode. I'm still on, like, fire right now. Jeez. <laughs> Manta carapace right there, nice. Now what about these other manta drones? Manta pillar drones or whatever? Does it have an inventory? I thought it did, I must have already got it. Killed a raptodon over here though, so that's good to know. These manta creatures hunt raptodons. It, it does make sense, they're just physically bigger. Oh, here's a dead body right here, Marauder Thug, yeah, energizing ointment. Uh, assault rifle ultra, low 20 right there, not bad, I might wanna... Was it a current assault rifle, is it this? I think it is, I don't know what level that is though, I definitely want... Make sure it's updated. Level 22 right there. I think it got maxed out before we got a recent level up, so I think we can do one more level up for it. 
Fun times barrel. Critical damage magnum plus 50% mag magazine size, gyro sight, ranged weapon. Yeah, I'm like, ours is currently really good. So maybe I'll consider giving that to a companion or saving it or something like that, you know? But uh, we took care of those manta creatures right there, which is great. So <laughs> maybe from now on, let's just keep their uh, let's just keep their fighting style on like aggressive. That seems pretty good because you guys saw they just stand around unless explicitly explicitly told to attack something. And uh, of course that was defensive mode. If we were on passive mode, yeah, they wouldn't have even like they would have killed one thing and then that was it. They wouldn't have you know moved on to the next thing. I think right. Anyways, a lot of stuff over here. Oh, spectrum vodka, light ammo right there. Not bad. Anything else around here worthwhile? I don't think so. I think we're good. All right, that's good. Oh yeah, how, how's the DPS is this this thing compared to this? Let me see. Uh, seven nineteen compared to twelve forty six. Golly, but that one's light ammo. This one's heavy. So, I'm like the accuracy of this one's a little bit better, but of course the DPS of this one is a lot of it better. So, well, that was this one, by the way. I don't know how long it's been since I've uploaded. Up Dated that thing. Yeah, that one's also maxed out at level 22. Uh, you know, before my most recent level up. So, we can give that thing another level up now that our uh, weapon level cap has risen. Now, is this... Yes, this is the way in. Can I just... Oh, yeah, it's sealed. Looks like the terminal there is broken, so we're going to have to find another way into this place, you guys. I wonder if this has something to do with it. I don't know, maybe. Heavy ammo there. Heavy ammo. Another dead body there. Hatch low pressure helmet, literally a level two. That's like the yeah. Look at that. The armor he's wearing is what we gave Vicar. Like it, it, we just took that off of him and replaced his armor. So yeah, that just goes to show how low level armor he had, because we just didn't really even bother upgrading it. You know, just because I'm like I definitely wanna, because I do have six companions, five of which I can give, you know, hand me downs of my. Oh God, this guy has no legs. You know, uh, old armor, old weapons and whatnot. Definitely wanna, you know, try and keep more armor and weapons rather than immediately sell them or salvage them for parts or whatever, you know, right? So, let's just continue exploring around here. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that where we came in? I think it is. Yeah, this, yeah there's a ship right there, the Unrival. So, how do we get into there? If that area sealed, I kind of want to go up this. We do have explosives there. Corrosive expo- Wait, what in the world? Cascadia landing pad discovered, even though this is literally where I just came from? I don't mean to be rude, Mr. Vicar, but I already got a dad. I don't need a new one. What in the world? Are you saying my advice is unwanted? <laughs> what are they talking about? I don't know what they're talking about over there, jeez. What, what kind of upgrades are we working with over here, though? Speedy mate barrel. Rate of fire plus 15%. Really, really interesting there. I might consider that, but of course, $4,000. And I can gale step. I don't really care about that. How, how about... Oh, no armor there. Okay. TNL's exotic somethings. What about this one here? Does this one work? Yeah, it does. Not to Cleo. Uh, well, this one has some armor, though. Let's see how it... Uh, level 21. Level 21. I like that. Standard troop armor. Sneak plus 7. Sneak plus 7. Medium. Our current armor, I forget what it is. And of course, some, here's some helmets, but of course, our helmet right now is really good. But I want to see if we can sell some junk. Do we, yeah, we have some junk here. Let's sell it. Try and get a little bit of money and alleviate some carry weight, too. So that's great. Kind of level ups. Or, uh, yeah, same, like, basically same thing that we had in the other one. I guess we'll buy some mag picks. I don't know how we're doing mag pick wise, but let's just grab all those bad boys. Now, how do we get into there? There's a bridge and what looks like a, like a cavern down. I don't know how to go across that bridge because that, that doorway was sealed. I'm gonna look at the map. Yeah, see, see we're right here. I guess if anything we could have, uh, maybe we could have gone from this way? Because going from this way is sealed. We cannot, uh, fast travel while near hostiles. Man, I guess there's still something nearby, but yeah. I suppose what we have to do now is go to Amber Heights, go all the way down here, follow this trail like this, and then that's how we get to Cascadia because we can't, you can't go across this bridge right now. It's Sealed. So I guess that plan didn't work out very well, huh? But at least we got to fight a heckin' mantis or manta queen, whatever you want, to, or all of them. Maybe it was a mix of them. I don't know. But uh, maybe I'll come back here. Oh, oh, oh! It's just uh, small little critters. I guess we. There we go. Use that to kill these little guys. There you go. And just. Oh yeah, that was still alive. Oh yeah, little scratch. Yeah, they didn't really stand a chance against me. Bit cartridges are very nice. More of them right there. Awesome. Not seeing anything glowing, waiting for my loot. Oh, I, I have a literal lootometer, I said it before. <laughs> but it's awesome that I have a literal lootometer that I can actually physically see the loot that's nearby and just make sure I slurp it all up. I think we already looted this thing, though, right? I don't think we need to worry about that. Of course, this terminal's broken, so I don't think we can open up that door. But yeah, I think if we're going to be heading that way, to which we are, <laughs> I think the only way over there is through the other direction. Now, what? What? Else? Oh, wrapped it on over here. Heavy ammo there. What else do we have in this town, though, that's kind of hiding from us? What is this thing? Century Saber Mark II. Of course, it's a melee sword. I don't really care about that. I'm not 
This town must have looked mighty grand when it was built. Yeah, probably. I would have liked to seen this place before it was all ported up. <laughs> I bet it lit up the night. So where does this go? Is this the mountains that? Yeah, I think it is because this, this path ends right here. I assume that means it goes into a cave, and I assume right there is where the cave comes out, which is like the the north part of Stellar Bay. So, yeah, I feel like the best way, unless, yeah, that's like a, I thought that was a river, like water, but it's like a giant cavern there, you guys. Yeah, because we did, we remember when we came out of Stellar Bay, there's a bridge there, there's a bridge there, yeah, that explains it, yeah. Hmm. So, yeah, if we, if we want to go to Cascadia, which I assume is this, we need to go all the way over here to Amber Heights, which sucks. There are creatures over here, Manta Queens. Do I want to take them on? Now that my companions are set to an, an appropriate, aggressive mode. Two Manta Queens. I don't know how they're doing uh, health-wise and whatnot. Maybe we'll come back a little bit later. Hmm. How am I doing? Uh, I don't have an addiction thing right now, so that's good. Maybe we try and take him on again. There's one there. There's one all the way. Oh, wait, that's a Manta Soldier. It, ju it, lo it just looks like two Manta Queens. I don't see, like, little minion drones or... Oh, I see more of them in the... But yeah, there's a drone back there in the background. But these two right here in the front, Manta Queen and Manta Queen. So, I feel like we can take them out. <laughs> just imagine us coming over here, you guys. Uh, like, initially, without the Stellar Bay landing pass or whatever. Just imagine us coming over here and heckin' <laughs> dying immediately to all these Raptodons and Manta Queens and all that kind of stuff, right? Golly! Now, we have a rocket launcher, or a grenade launcher right here. I want to reload that thing, make sure I don't have to reload it again. Oh, 48? Really? God, and it even says arm there on the bottom right. That's funny. <laughs> Alright, well, kind of want to get a quick save just in case anything happens. I can quickly come back to this exact moment. But, uh, let me get, uh, who should I get to do this one? Let's do... Let's do Vicar on this one. I'll take your confession now! And then immediately... Or maybe I can make Parvati do the other one. There we go. Melee that one down, Parvati. I do not do friendly fire, so I can just uh, grenade launcher these guys as much as I want. 57 damage right there. 419, nice. I'm just gonna spam these. I don't even care. Oh gosh. Well, I'm getting hit. Looks like Vicar's down. And that Manta Queen is down. That's great. Let's switch over to this. Looks like Parvati just soaked up a ton of damage right there. I'm gonna... Ooh, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take a little bit of cover as well while I heal. And we have a Manta Queen right here that we're hopefully gonna DPS down with this thing. I'm gonna run and I'm gonna take another <laughs> inhaler right there. Jeez. Now, how are we doing? <gasps> oh gosh, what's that thing? What's that little swarm right there? What? That's a kill. I think I Manta Swarm? Oh yeah, we killed one of those things on the, uh. Not on the Unreliable. The, uh, what do you call it? The, the other ship. The Groundbreaker. I think, I think we had to kill one of those on the Groundbreaker. Yeah. Alright, well. I don't know if I should continue using this weapon or not. Might not need to. He's, I'm literally shooting a gun at bugs right now, you guys. Literal flying heckin' swarms of creature bug things. <laughs> Jeez, I'm using a lot of ammo on these guys. And it's down. Nice. Took down two Manta Queens. Manta Swarms. I didn't even see those. And of course, we lost two companions during that. You know, basically. <laughs> but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that to make sure they heal up a little bit faster. And of course, I've got the addiction thing. And I've got 67 uh, things. So I might as well start using them, right? Golly. I don't think the Manta Swarms drop anything. There's nothing in their inventory. Manta Carapace right there. Nice. Now, where are my companions at? Oh, there they are right there. Hey, look at that. They survived. All right. And if you guys are wondering why they're not... Oh, they're not wearing helmets. Yeah, they are. They, they do have helmets. It's just that I do have a setting enabled where you can't physically see their helmets. That way you can see their face. Because uh, earlier on in the series, you guys might have seen that Parvati's face was covered with a helmet. I didn't really like that. Of course, when we actually had a conversation with her, she takes her helmet off. You can see her face reveal, but... I decided, you know, we could have face reveals for everyone <laughs> whenever we're actually in the game, which is kind of funny. I could do the same thing for myself, by the way, but I decided to leave it on that way I could see my helmet there. Anyways, that was, that was actually kind of impressive. I thought we would have had a lot more trouble with that. Even though we did have some trouble, I thought we would have, like, at least died from that, because, you know, two Manta Queens right there. We only just killed one, and now we've killed two at the same time right there, so... I'm, I'm feeling some confidence building up right now, you guys. And, uh, I don't even know why I'm heading this way. I don't even need to... <laughs> maybe, I'll, maybe I'll go all the way up to the cave. Just to see if I can even survive all the way up to there, you guys. We've got a Mantisaur Soldier right there. Maybe I'll try and just kill it with this gun. Let me reload, make sure it's full. And then, uh, of course, maybe I'll try and ambush it with one of my companions, like... Parvati! Parvati, smash! Oh, does she use a diff... Oh, gosh, there's a lot of enemies that just got detected right there. Whoops. Gonna hit fire right there. Oh, gosh! Oh, Manta Pillar! May the law have mercy on you! I won't! Oh, man, it's going... Does that thing have black blood or something? Ew! And the Manta Pillar... Or man oh, God, another Manta Queen right there. I'm gonna switch over to the grenade launcher. Switch over to that. Gonna get myself some healings right there. I didn't see the Manta Queen right there, you guys. Holy heck. Manta Sword Drone. Th taking grenade launcher at these little creatures. Oh, God! 
I don't want to shoot it at that point blank range like that. Golly. Right, let's kill this thing. And it's down. Okay. Manta, Manta Queen is heading my way, though. Trying. Oh, yeah, I know. I saw. I saw. Oh, she's going down. She's at half health right now. That's great. Let's switch back over to this. Oh, she, oh, does she spawn those in? I think she does. Hold on. Shooting these at the Manta Queen. I think she spawns in the Manta Swarms, you guys. That's why we didn't see them earlier on. I think that's why. Yeah. We might have actually... Oh, gosh. I'm actually getting really low again. Woo! <laughs> I'm running, taking heckin' healings when I can. And the Manta Queen is almost down. Let me snipe her down if I can. Oh, whoops. That's the wrong, the wrong thing. I'm taking a little bit of damage over time, I think, from the... Uh, there we go. I need to remember to take the, uh, the slow motion thing too, you guys. But I think we're fine right now. Yeah, switch over to the. Let's switch over to this. Oh god, I need to reload right there. But I think we're doing pretty good. Just kiting these guys back as they're as they're pursuing me and whatnot. But man, to swarm there. Another one right there. Only a few shots to take these guys down with this weapon, so that's not too bad, honestly. I thought we would have <laughs> way more trouble right there, you guys. But it seems like every time we attack something, our companions basically soak up all the damage. And, <laughs> and basically just die. They all just go down on their health like instantly. There you go. Maybe I should uh, a little, be a little bit more mindful of that. And uh, make sure they don't, you know, basically die. Because <laughs> if I was playing in, uh, what was it called, Supernova difficulty? Yeah, I wouldn't have any companions anymore, you guys. I I'd be playing on, like, lone wolf mode from now on. <laughs> Jeez. But, uh, let's see. Where in the world? Part oh, she must teleport behind me or something like that. Just got to make sure I loot all these guys. Make sure I don't lose any loot. Or leave any loot behind, that is. I do remember some of them were running away and I killed them on their way out. Yeah, here's one right here. Manta plasma gland or whatever right there. It shoots like plasma at us. It's disgusting. Here's another one right there. You guys might have seen it shooting little acid, little balls at us. <laughs> uh, speaking of balls, what are these little things here? I don't know. Some weird flora in this environment. Interesting. I don't think we're actually going to see anything, but I, I'm kind of curious what's in this, like, crevice. Oh gosh, and there's like the bridge there. I don't know what's actually here, you guys. Pretty sure if I fall down this cliff, this is certain and guaranteed death. Is that water down there? I think it is. Even if I did fall from up here, hitting the water, that would probably kill me as well. <laughs> it's not like Minecraft where you can fall from like any distance and then break your fall with like one block of water, golly. I know this is continue up this path. I did say I wanted to continue here until we actually got to, I assume, a cave entrance or something. And let's uh, make, oh, yep, we're good on that. Let me, yeah, let me reload all my weapons. Just so if we do have another encounter, we'll be prepared. Oh, speaking of such, Raptodon Mauler. Well, we haven't really fought Raptodons lately. Might be a good opportunity to take one on. Let me get another quick save. It's been a little while. All right. I think this might be it, Raptodon. At least for right now. That's, oh, we're getting detected. And it's right there. It knows about us. It knows. I'm shooting these heckin' grenades at it. Vicar, or, whoops, Harvati. <laughs> There you go. Parvati smash. And it's down. That's good. Oh, there's another one over there, though. Let me see if I take it out with the grenade. There you go. And, uh, one missed. Yeah, that's, that's one of the things, though. There is some... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> there is some throw. Oh, God. Mega Raptor. What? The strong survive and the weak perish. Well, hopefully, uh, we can take this thing down, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I think we... Oh, God. What? Got him. Uh, did we? No, we did not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Parvati and, uh, the, oh man, 630 damage right there. Nice, really good amount of damage right there, Vigor. And he's actually kind of distracting him. Nice. That's great. Man, his scythe is really good. That's awesome. Wrapped it on hide, wrapped it on meat. Adren Adrena time. Uh, necklace, tossball card, and bracelet. Mr. Acid, is that, uh, corrosion? Yep, corrosion damage right there. A lot of ammo. And plasma rifle 2.0, level 21 right there. Not bad. Might even consider to start using them if they're, uh, pretty decent at their current level compared to my other weapons, but seems like so far we've got pretty good weapons, so I don't, that's a, that's a tall bar to surpass or something, I don't, I don't know how it goes, maybe I'll write it at the bottom of the screen, I messed it up, jeez, <laughs> anyways, let's keep going around here, see if we missed anything looting wise, but uh, there's, if this was like Ark Survival Evolved or Minecraft, I would have been mining this stuff up, or even Skyrim, it looks like I could mine this stuff up, but fortunately I don't think I can, anyways, let's continue on this path, I, it, it, we should have hit, oh, oh, not yet, seems like we have to take a left turn here, and that's where we're going to hit this supposed cave entrance. Oh yeah, we're, we're slowly running out of ammo here. Yeah, it, it eats through ammo so much. You might even want to consider buying more ammo from vending machines here. Very soon. I haven't done that for quite a while. I'm not, oh, I'm hearing something. Oh, there they are right there. A pack of Raptor Dom stalkers. Now they're all kind of grow Raptor Dom spitter. Colossus. Throwing this egg and grenade launcher at you, hater. Anger a man of the cloth. 
Yeah, get out of here, trash. I'm gonna get Parvati to smash you with her. Yeah, I'm really. I, I thought I'd give her a different hammer. She must use a special hammer for that that attack specifically. Let me take these guys down. There you go. As well as you in the background. Oh yeah, that one's still alive. There's Parvati there. We still have some crow. Oh man, that guy's still alive too. I thought it was down. No. And looks. Oh wait, hold on. Is there something attacking? Oh, I think I'm just still in. It's like toxic cloud or whatever. There, geez. Need to watch out for that. Yeah, looks like uh, looks like these guys went down pretty easily. They're not bad. A lot of uh, Marauder thugs. Yeah, they went down pretty easily too. <laughs> they were feasting on their dead bodies over here. But uh, oh god, this this is the cave entrance. Yeah, it looks like it caved in. Okay, <laughs> MSI soldier. What is this guy doing here with a Marauder thug? I guess he was guarding the cave entrance and then it collapsed. Maybe that's the only explanation I can think of. I was thinking about, uh, I, I was looking forward to possibly exploring through a cave, but I guess, I guess we can't. So that kind of sucks. Wrapping on meat, hacking dead bodies, legs and stuff all over the place. Jeez. We're actually doing pretty well nowadays, you guys. I like that. Oh god, more creatures. Wrapped on Colossus. Is there a fat? Oh, whoa, whoa, what is this? Yeah, here's a sign right here. Is this an official pathway? I don't think there is on the. Yeah, there's no official. Oh, wait, sulfur pits. So I might be able to fast travel back here, you guys. Uh,. I'm pretty sure if we fast traveled to this area, we probably would have made it to the uh, <laughs> to the Cascadia by now. And I'm pretty sure this has got to be Fallbrook there. So, yeah, we probably have to pass through Fallbrook, do the Vicar Max mission, and then we can do the Arvati mission. For oh, there's a creature right there. Might want to snipe it down. I'll see if I can. Wrap it on Spitter. Let's see if I can though. Maybe I can if I do this. Get in the head, blind it. Another hit, and. And there we go. It's down. It's down. Oh, more stuff. More stuff of. Oh God! <laughs> he just got sprayed right there. Jeez. Anything behind us? I don't think so. Was that? Oh, rather on spitter right there. Nice. Like, oh God. Our fire's getting sprayed too. Yeah, it burns. I bet it does. I know how it feels too. What else is around? Did you guys kill it all? I think they did. Nice. So we sniped down. Sniped down one. More of them came to retaliate. I'm just saying, if we did need to dispose of a body. This would be a good spot for it. You know what? I agree. I don't got much use for sulfur in my own work. Neat that it's here, though. <laughs> yep. But yeah, the sulfur fields, I guess we officially discovered it, but... Or sulfur pits. Did we officially discover it yet? Can we fast travel here? I don't think so. That, don't, that wouldn't make sense if we could, but... Then again, we could fast travel most other places, right? But uh, I wonder what we use the sulfur pits for. Oh, God! I just hit, like, an invisible barrier right there and almost fell in. Jeez! No, I don't know if we're in the official sofa. Oh, almost getting detected right there. Let me check again. Yeah, I don't think there's like a fast travel here, so that kind of sucks. But uh, let me just continue on this path, right? Jeez. Maybe I'll fast travel. Speaking of fast travel, maybe I'll fast. Oh, there's an enemy. Oh, yep, right there. Has it detected me? Wrap it on spitter. I don't think so. I think we're good. Maybe I'll uh, fast travel all the way over to here. Yeah, the hostiles are nearby, so I might, I need, might need to take care of this spitter. Let me take care of this creature. And it's down. Yep, it's down. There's another one there. Right on Mauler. And it's down. More of them. Oh, God. Parvati. I've it's... had quite enough of you. I keep hitting the wrong button whenever I say Parvati or Vicar. Jeez. And Parvati, now you can take care of this one. <laughs> I love when she says she sees a nail and heck and smashes it with a giant hammer. Jeez. There you go. Try and take care of these guys. I think that one's down in the back. And there's a Colossus back there. Parvati's getting really low. And she's down. <laughs> She just died. Whoops. Rest in peace. Okay, I'm going to try and take down the Colossus. I just took a hit right there, but this Colossus is... It just went right through me. I think it died right there, basically. Let's reload. Make sure we're good. And just focus this thing down. Hopefully I can... Uh, oh, here we go. Get some TTD. Try and get some good shots on his face and stuff. But yeah, remember when we move with TTD? Oh, man. I almost just took another hit right there. God, this thing is mega rafted on. Oh, gosh. This thing's taking up a lot of heckin' bullets. I'm hitting it in the face and everything here, you guys. And it looks like it's stunned right there, so that's good. I'm gonna keep hitting it in the face. And, oh man, we took another hit right there. I'm like inside of it right there. Is it dead? No. And now it's dead. Leveled up to 19. Nice. Both my companions are dead again. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Hunting Rifle Ultra. Hey. Hard, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that one. Elixir right there. This one does 204 damage, level 17. That's a lot better than the ones we had before that I got rid of. Skin Stiffening Agent, Hardened, Armor Rating plus 10. Whoa. Now, that's something I have to actually take, though. It's not something I could apply to armor, so that sucks. A lot of ammo there. Nice. 160 heavy, uh, 69 energy, and 150 light. That's great. That's awesome. Miss McDevitt used to say that plants need sulfur to grow, and here there's just 
tubs of it lying about. If I fall in, you'll pull me out, right? Maybe. I'm like, I almost fell in just a moment ago, golly. Anyways, we do have uh, level ups here. And I don't think I need to worry about, oh, am I addicted? Because I just took a ton of heckin' things right there, jeez. Now, let's see. There was something I was trying to do earlier on. I think it was hack, right? I think so. I think I might have the hack. Yeah, I think my hack is really good right now. I think if we go back to that one place, I needed like hack 55 or uh, something like that, right? Or engineering 55, I forget. But now we have Parvati. I think, yeah, I think, I, yeah, look at that, 19 for Parvati, golly. I think if we go back there now, we should be able to do that. So, yeah, I, let's definitely fast travel there and finish off those, like, remote jobs or whatever on that computer terminal. But for right now, let's do tech. Let's do a, let's do a few on tech. I don't know if, I, yeah, I did two on tech right there. Leadership, I don't know if I'll touch that again. Stealth, let's get a couple more on that. Now it looks like Lockpick finally hit 50, so that's great. Dialogue, persuade, lie, intimidate. I don't know if I'll uh, do too much there. I'll just do on, one on each right there. So there we go. And ranged. I guess I'll do... Uh, Maybe I'll do one on each there as well. So there you go. Handguns, long guns, and heavy weapons. I don't know if I'm using handguns really too often, honestly. You know what? I'm, I'm going to revert. Let's revert. There we go. Let's, let's take this back to long guns and heavy weapons there. And I still have one left over. What am I going to do with this one? Another tech, maybe? Maybe a leadership randomly? Let's do another tech. There you go. That's, that, that seems good right there. We don't have any perks right now because we need to get another level up to get another perk. But let's apply this. There we go. Accept. What do we have in this journal again? Another thing in the codex, it seems. Uh, emergency med medicinal inhaler. Why is it telling me about that? Yeah, I have low health. Take the emergency medicinal inhaler to heal. Each activation consumes one adreno. Yeah, I already figured that out like episode... Well, I should have figured it out episode one, but like episode two or three or something like that. Right, golly. Here's a dead guy with no legs again. With a lot of ammo on him, too. Oh, a decent amount. That stash of ammo had more, but I'll take that one as well. But yeah, let's definitely fast travel back to this... No, this. Amber Heights, yes. Let's travel, travel there, actually inside, not at the entrance. And go to that one computer terminal? Especially because we do have Parvati now. And, uh... Oh yeah, this is the iconic class nice people, right? Town? Yeah. I think it was, uh... Dead critters. <laughs> dead critters. Yeah, I'm like, we just had a lot of dead critters just a moment ago, right? So you should be used to it by now, right, Parvati? Especially because you've been with me for the longest out of any companion, jeez. Let's head over here, I think it was this computer terminal inside of here, right? Yep, this one right here. We had, like, one job left. Uh, steam coming out of the roof. Uh, the pipes on the top of the house are going to burst or leaking steam. Yep, we could do it. 55 engineering, just like he said, so remotely reroute the water. Boom. And looks like flow systems corrections complete, making work order as re resolved. So that's all of them done there. Unresolved work orders done. They're, they're all done there, you guys. Nice. Just got a little bit of, uh, XP there, so that's good. But I thought I would have got something from getting them all done right there, but I guess not. Anti-riot gear, I don't know if that's good or trash, but it's probably trash to be quite honest. So we can just kind of forget about that one, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, I think, I think we're going to be basically done here, so might as well just head out. And just, just like I said earlier, oh, whoops, go to region. Uh, we're going to go down this pathway here, which I can zoom in on. Down this, take this way, and then go down here, boom. And then go up here, and then there's Cascadia there. But of course, like, right here is probably going to be Fallbrook. Or maybe here's Fallbrook. I don't know where Fallbrook, I guess we'll just look at the signs, but yeah, we're probably going to come across, come across Fallbrook first, but uh, you know what, yeah, let's just get uh, Parvati's thing out of the way, well, let's just go straight to Cascadia, which I assume this is over here, I'm like, we saw it earlier, <laughs> but let's just go straight to Cascadia, which means we're going to go through a lot of stuff here, and hopefully going to unlock some fast travels too, so we don't have to keep going through the wilderness and whatnot, you know, so let's go out through the, uh, the front here, and let's continue our adventure to try and head towards Cascadia, because that one bridge is blocked off, so <laughs> let's transition to the Monarch Wilderness.